2020 interview where we get our professionals to share more about the industry. Now we have with us Ms. Sugar Chan, the Senior Consultant from Boston Consulting Group, and she's representing AISP to share with us her experience in the industry. So hello, Ms. Chan. Hi, Olivia. Thanks for having me here with everyone today. And thank you for joining us. I'd like to ask you, what inspired you to join this profession? I think a short answer to that question is the industry pretty much chose me uh, for this profession. So let me elaborate on that. Uh, initially, when I first started off my career, uh, I didn't know uh, this cybersecurity industry exists. So uh, when I graduate from the university, I applied for a job uh, as an IT auditor in EY. And upon first day reporting at work, uh, I was pretty much uh, asked to join the cybersecurity team as one of the pioneer in the team. And since then, that's pretty much how I get involved in the industry. And I really like it so far. Right, that's really interesting that the industry chose you. Um, so my second question would be like, um, what does a day at work look like? So as a consultant, uh, there really is no fixed schedule for a day. Uh, like sometimes, uh, I start off my day by having early calls with the global team. It depends on uh, projects, uh, which case team that I'm working with. And sometimes it could be uh, really from the other side of the world. It could be in the US, it could be in Europe, it could be in Middle East. Uh, that would be uh, pretty much how I start my day, depending on uh, the schedule on of the case. And other than the case, uh, I would be working on some of the business development staff, uh, having uh, early discussion with clients to understand what are the challenges that they're facing in the organization. And that's where we will then bounce ideas to see uh, how we can potentially help them in addressing some of these challenges. So thank you for sharing what a day at work looks like for you. Um, so is there any like a specific thing that you enjoy about a job that makes it fulfilling? Right, I think uh, as a consultant, uh, making an impact to your client is really what makes you uh, have the sense of fulfillment during a daily job. Uh, most of the time you see clients coming over to you, uh, reaching out to you, sharing with you about their problems, their, their challenges at work. And uh, I think most of the time uh, they might take your advice or your recommendations with a pinch of salt. Uh, they just don't implement it, right? But really seeing them implementing your solution uh, it's really what makes an impact, uh, especially you are identifying the solutions with them along the journey and eventually looking at your recommendation and materializing in the, uh, in the client environment. I think that's what uh, makes you feel you are really making an impact to your client. I agree with you that making an impact to the clients and identifying a possible solution with them is indeed fulfilling, especially when you're on the journey with them. So, my next question will be, was this something you always aspired to be? I know you said that um, the industry chose you, but was this something that you always wanted to be or maybe you wanted to be a doctor or lawyer when you were a student yourself? Uh, so, I've always wanted to... Uh... I've, like being a doctor or a lawyer is not something that I really wanted to be <laughs> uh, when I was in school. Uh, so I think the closest that I can think of would be like a software engineer. Like in terms of my background, I studied computer science. So I think the natural progression for someone who is in like computer science uh, would be to be uh, a software engineer in the future upon graduation. Um, so it's something that I uh, aspire to be during the university days, um, but I ended up being in the cybersecurity industry and, but I'm liking it so far. I would think comparing to uh, a software engineer, uh, I would enjoy being a consultant more because I get to see a variety of like client challenges uh, and get to solve uh, these challenges for clients in a different industry and really making an impact. That's really interesting. Mm, I hope the industry choose many more students to, to join. 
So in your opinion, what are some skills and subjects that will help students to pursue the, their interest in this industry today for our secondary school students? I think from a technical standpoint, uh, having a good grasp of some of these uh, like programming uh, languages, uh, algorithms, uh, math would definitely help uh, as you are uh, entering the cybersecurity industry. But also at the flip side, because the industry, uh, the threat landscape is always evolving. So it's also important to actually have a keen to learn attitude and the ability to keep up with uh, all the latest trends. So I would say the most important thing is really to have a keen to learn attitude in the industry because whatever that you learn uh, in your university days may not be uh, still applicable when you enter the industry. It could, it could be outdated already. So having said that, uh, some of the fundamental hard technical skill uh, like your math, your programming languages, your algorithms, those would definitely help you to enter the industry. So I agree with you that in the tech world, everything is changing um, it's fast, very fast and fast. So having a strong foundation in programming at a, at a young age is a good start. And most importantly, having the attitude to improve yourself and to keep learning is really as important as having a good foundation in programming. Mm, so I would like to ask this last question. What can young students do um, if, to, to find out more about this profession? There are actually many uh, different available sources uh, online, like um, CSA do publish the latest cyber, uh, cyber landscape report. You can take a look at it. Uh, there are also a lot of meetup groups that is established in Singapore uh, where you can mingle around with some of the cybersecurity practitioner that is already uh, in the industry, in the ecosystem and get to know what their day job look like, what it takes to uh, enter the uh, profession, stuff like that. Uh, and also besides that, I think um, there are also a lot of technology companies uh, like Accenture, FireEye, uh, like Blue Island, they publish some of these latest industry trend or cyber threat landscape report that uh, would be a good source of data point that you can take a look at to really understand about the industry. So students so should look out online. Google is your best friend. Look out for trend reports and everything to just keep themselves updated and to spark their interest further and deeper into the professional industry, I guess. Yep, I totally agree with you. Alright, so that was our last question for you, Ms. Chan. With that, I would like to end this interview and thank Ms. Sugar Chan for taking her time to join and share her experience with us today. So thank you for your insightful sharing, Ms. Chan, and I hope many others just like I benefit from this just like I did. Once again, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sugar Chan. <laughs> no problem, you're most welcome. So LISP will be uploading more videos. Do keep a lookout for these videos. New students can register for the live QA from the 1st to the 4th of December, 10 to 10.30 a.m. Upon which you will receive a certificate of participant for joining us. Thank you and goodbye.